On August 18th, AIN got to go along on a press demonstration flight aboard Honeywell's 1952 Convair 580 test aircraft. The flight was to show off the benefits of Interview, Honeywell's 3D radar. Unfortunately for us, storm chasing in the Northeast has offered slim pickings most of the summer. We took off from New York LaGuardia Airport, and pilots Joe Duval and Marcus Johnson had to fly us almost to North Carolina to chase down some radar returns that were closing in on Northern Virginia. We saw them on the next rad display, which was visible on the Convair Center console. The object of the demonstration was to show how the new version of the radar is more complete, accurate, and user-friendly. It also weighs a lot less, uses less electrical power, and takes up less space in the avionics rack. The Interview RDR4000 system has been available since 2007, and Honeywell recently announced a major software update that will incorporate hazard predictive hail and lightning icons similar to what is seen on NEXRAD. Honeywell calls Interview a 3D system, as distinguished from what it calls point-and-shoot conventional radar. Because of advances in pulse compression, the 40-watt interview transmitter is able to project out 320 nautical miles and through a 180-degree arc around the nose of the aircraft. But the most profound element of interview is its automatic tilt-adjusting technology. Interview uses proprietary software that automatically adjusts tilt repeatedly, collecting the data of each configuration and storing it. It scans left and right and tilts up and down, covering the sky from ground level to 60,000 feet, a total of 17 tilt values for each scan, which updates every 20 to 30 seconds. The radar interfaces with the aircraft's flight plan, showing weather that is in direct flight path in full color, with non-critical weather off the flight path, shown in hashed displays. That allows the crew to intuitively focus on the weather directly affecting the current flight plan, but also to be aware of weather in the vicinity should there be a need to deviate for any reason. The interview system compensates for curvature of the Earth and also interfaces with Honeywell's Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System to automatically compensate for changing terrain, so ground clutter doesn't interfere with the weather data collection process. On our flight, restricted airspace around Washington, D.C. kept us at least 50 miles from the line of cells we were tracking. And to be honest, the cells were not exactly awe-inspiring. So much for the thrill of a storm-chasing mission. Still, it was a good opportunity to see the workings of the screens and how intuitive the display is. For AIN-TV, this is Mark Phelps.